In Pine Island, Minnesota, Jerome Stouffer-Hahn and his family woke up to six feet of water in the basement. This is the worst we've ever, anybody's ever seen it around here. As much as 10 inches in 24 hours stretching across 150 miles of the Upper Great Plains. Some people were able to sandbag, but many didn't have time to protect their homes. Now people are salvaging what they can. The mess, it's all, everything down there is shot. In Orinoco, Minnesota, water pouring through an open dam was powerful enough to rip apart this bridge. At least a dozen families were forced to evacuate as rushing water overturned cars. Nearby, a front loader carried some people to dry land and streets were lined with sandbags as homeowners anxiously watched. When it gets to a certain point, then you start worrying. Is that now? Yeah, that's now. 90 miles east in Wisconsin, floodwaters carve sinkholes in streets and hundreds have been forced from their homes. We've been lucky in the past with minimal damage. Um, today, we're not quite so lucky. The rivers here in southern Minnesota have already started to go down, but this same storm system is expected to cause some flooding in the suburbs of Minneapolis next week, which could potentially affect many more people. Katie? Heather Brown of our CBS station WCCO. Heather, thanks so much for that report.